about to set off on our amazing adventure with Rafael. Our backpacks are ready to go. We filled them up with a lot of snacks, water, uh, whatever else we're gonna need for camping tonight. Uh, we're gonna spend the night on the mountain and then hopefully in the morning hike to the very top, see the amazing, amazing sunrise. And with the heart full of joy and a sense of accomplishment, we're gonna drag our very tired bodies all the way down. So wish us luck and we will see you later on our adventure. So here we are now in the best can see this I will explain you. We have so many tickets. This is my ticket. This is for park. This is I don't know what this is. This is our ticket. Look, it's so expensive. So this is our ticket. First meal before go. What do you think? I can't wait to eat. Look at this. Look at this beauty. Oh my god. Listen to this. Delicious rice and veggies. Mm. This will give us energy for the hike. Yeah. Very good. Vegan friendly. Vegan friendly indeed. <laughs> I wish it was really big. I think I would I would sneak up on one and have it in my uh, Chilies, tomatoes. Help! Open gate. Ready for that? I was born ready. I was born ready. So, for the pain, for the sad life. For the purpose you're doing it for. Think of something. What are you doing it for? For the better life. For whatever it is that it's in your mind. <laughs> you don't have to say it out loud, but have it as your personal goal of getting to the top and bringing change in your life. <laughs> so here we are now, in the middle of nowhere, getting pretty tired. The soul is getting hotter and it burns the adrenaline. And there is always a reason to hike for me. Unfortunately, today is not the best reason to hike, but I really have to do it. It's really a tough time. I have to let it go out in the Mother Earth. Hope she will listen to me. Cosmic law of attraction. Do you know what is it? You don't. You you're doing this. So I mean, you don't. So basically, it's about being a good person, giving out good energy, out, behaving in a good way. And if you do so, this also attracts goodness into your life. Um, I believe in this because it's been happening to me, especially when I travel. You see, you're, you're the living proof of it, actually, <laughs> that it happens. Um, it really sets people's minds on a certain way. Um, even if there is something not so good, you don't perceive it as something not so good anymore, because you kind of welcome it in a, with positive attitude. Um, it works with magic, actually. So let's see, let's see. 
Now I am full of this good energy. Whatever we do is going well so far. You have to stop recording because I may fall off the tree and I don't want it to be recorded forever for generations to see. So you are up in the tree now? Uh, I'm standing on the branch, yeah. <laughs> So how do you feel mountain celebrities? <sighs> I made peace with it. And it's fun. And when I have an opportunity I always mock people. Uh, they said to me, okay, I, I want to have a picture with you. And I said, yeah, I want to have a picture with you too. So then <laughs> they have to take a picture also with my, my phone. So I have it. Uh, I try to be funny. I try to make people sometimes not expect what I'm going to do. So they're like always laughing and I always laugh. And this is the, pre the best uh, icebreaker. I guess we do, we need to do something funny and make people laugh and smile. <laughs> so I do. <laughs> Jadi bagaimana perasaannya, Mas Mas? Pedih. Pedih sekali. Mau diulang lagi? Enggak. Enggak. Lo sih sih enggak selo aja udah. Udah selo terbaik lah udah. Kecuali jalurnya diperbarui ya. Di aspal gitu ya. Di aspal tuh. Oh my god. I just want to sit on the grass. Sit, sit on my legs and chill, honestly, and have some something with this uh, coconut milk. We can have coffee, tea, something. Sure. My hands are starting to get really cold. Red. Look at that. And come side. Pasar Bubra. They call it Pasar Bubra because it looks like like a market. It's like a ghost market, but now it's like a human market. But still, it's look like messed up market. How was your sleep? Good morning. I don't think I slept at all because my body felt really tense and <laughs> I just ended up twisting from side to side, trying to find the most optimal position for sleep. And I think I was doing it for about or four hours. <laughs> it didn't happen, I didn't sleep. But then I had at the back of my mind the thought of warm oats with nuts and dry fruit. So now what happened is this. Basically it's already hot. Smells absolutely amazing in our tent. I can't wait when we start eating it. It will give us energy to hike all the way to the top and then all the way down <laughs> because we don't have anything else to eat basically so it has to do the job <laughs> apart of course from some little snacks but this is like the, the only hot thing I'm gonna have and I'm feeling very happy about it actually <laughs> so just about to eat and then I think we take off and start hiking to the top for the sunrise and Hopefully we won't freeze to death. <laughs> we will catch you later. <laughs>
yeah, it was like her many time visit to Jogja, but she never hiked this beautiful canal. <laughs> where we left a scooter and I really wanted to use the bathroom so I went to this house um, and basically after I got out of there I was invited for tea and of course as a lovely Indonesian tradition of hosting people giving everything from heart we are just about to have dinner which is very nice because it's house therapy so it happened just in time. Uh, rice is hot and steaming. We have some veggies. We have some eggies. Uh, lovely ladies here. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. 
Okay, hello. Hello, <laughs> mom. So definitely say always yes to being invited into somebody's house because it's from heart. And this is why I love to be here. This is one of the reasons. The people, the people make the place for me. Um, <laughs> dig in. No, just I don't feel my legs. It's a funny feeling, as I said before. Like they are made out of cotton wool, and you you can't break. You you can't stop from <laughs> just falling down. <laughs> I didn't fall down. I just tripped once, by the way. But uh, yes, I burned my muscles pretty badly. Um, I think I'm gonna feel it tomorrow. So for now. No feeling in legs, hey! <laughs> Not looking forward to tomorrow. But yes, we've made it, we are back where we left the scooter. I think very soon we're gonna be um, getting ready to go back to Rafa's house. And there we're gonna have an amazing shower. <laughs> and we have to get rid of all of the dust because there is this ash basically everywhere and uh, it's on our backpacks, inside of our backpacks, inside of our socks, pants, everywhere. So we will try to get rid of it <laughs> as soon as we get some civilization in us. And yeah, maybe, yeah, so we'll see. I don't know. We will talk to you later, maybe when we are all smelling of flowers, showered and happy. That's it, guys. Our adventure. I didn't expect that my leg get pain. I was trying to bully her because she got pain, but actually I also got pain, so... Karma! See you on the next video, maybe. And we recommended this track. You have to try it by yourself. Some track is not recorded on the footage for your surprise. And see you soon. Don't forget to hit the button, you know what does it mean, so bye.